five, I've seen an awful lot of bands getting back together. Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath and The Who reform, especially for the Live Aid event. And other bands have got back together too. There's been Aerosmith and The Gods. The one band who are back together as well is UFO. And with me today I have Phil Mogg, the singer of UFO. Phil, the lineup today is kind of different to the UFO I remember, what people might consider the classic UFO lineup of many years ago. Why did you decide to keep the UFO name? Um, it wasn't out of kind of choice, the original choice. It's just one of those things that um, we looked around for a name at the time. And um, it was suggested that we said UFO. It wasn't uh, any particular reason. It was the easiest thing to do. Um, but having used the name is kind of a double-edged double, double sword that it sort of goes against us as for, you know, we, we either have to deliver the goods or not. Yeah, you've got quite a lot to live up to. People have very fond memories <clears throat> of the UFO. Yeah, they're possibly retired now. And no, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not that long ago. No, no, no. I'm joking. Um, but it, it was just one of those things. It was the easiest thing for us to do at the time. It was just viable to do that. Thing. But as you say, it has put you under a certain amount of pressure. It means you can't go and play the marquee because the name is so strong. You've got to go and play much larger venues these days. Well, we could play the marquee, but they haven't offered us a gig. Really? Well, it's closing down soon, so you better hope you want to get oh, in there. Oh, poor old Jack. Um, it was just one of those things. We needed a name, and that was the easiest thing to, you know, for us to do. We've gone through all the other combinations of names, and um, I don't know. UFO just seemed. All right. We just thought, as long as we deliver the goods above and beyond the previous mm. UFO, that will be fine. Well, that's what I was going to say. How do you feel this lineup compares with past lineups? I think I think it's very good. I think it's far above what we've previously done from 1978 onwards. And um, with the lineup we've got with Tommy and uh, Paul Gray, Jim Simpson, blah blah blah, mm. it's it's a very hot band. It seemed to me there was a time when you became very disenchanted with the band and weren't taking it all that seriously. How do you feel about UFO today? Is it much more exciting for you now? Yeah, for sure. Um, the, towards the end, it was um, it was a bit kind of glib and album tour, album tour, no time off, and you lose, you tend to lose the essence of what you're supposed to be doing. Mm. Uh, whereas we've got this perfectly in place with this lineup at the moment. Because you've just been on tour in the UK, you played Hammers with Odeon quite recently. How was that show? Did the audience respond as you thought they would? Oh, it was unbelievable. It was like Chelsea playing on Tottenham yeah. on a Saturday afternoon. No, it was real good. No, I went to the show. It was like being at a football match. There was lots of chanting and singing along. You must have been very pleased with the way that show went. Yeah, because but the, the tour before, the year before, which was kind of a build-up tour. And what we're basically doing is structuring, rebuilding a kind of thing, and uh, it's a step beyond from the year before. I thought it was real good. I enjoy it. Now, we're right at the end of 1985 now. When you look back on the year, what's your, your fondest memory? Recording the new album, Mr. Mina, or doing this UK tour? I think getting the album out, <laughs> basically, um, is finishing the album, getting it out, because things were in the dark for quite a while, for about a year and a half. So actually doing the album, getting it out and everything, doing the tour, it's great. It was a bit like coming back. Yes, a, a resurrection, you might say. <laughs> well, well you could say that, I suppose. Yeah. Let's say resurrection. Let's, let's, it's a nice word, let's say it. Now, you've played the UK. Are you going to be touring Europe fairly soon? Um, hopefully not. No, apparently in... Uh, <laughs> oh, don't say that. No, I'm joking. <laughs> in, um, in, in January, I think we're going to, across Europe, but only a few places and then straight off to America. Do you know which countries you'll be visiting in Europe? Has that been decided? It's kind of maybe Ireland, maybe Scandinavia, and all that. It's all the maybes at the moment. But um, hopefully we, we should do that thing through Germany, Scandinavia, Germany, a couple of dates in Italy, back to England, and then off to America. Mm -hmm. 